Hey, listen, there's so many stories in the Bible where Jesus showed up to individuals that had a hard time believing to help their unbelief. Paul, on the road to Damascus, he had an unbelieving heart. <laughs> and then, because of the compassionate heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God sent his son to give Paul an encounter, okay? The Shunammite woman was sent Elijah because his obedience and trust in God, she was able to witness an increase in her food supply when she was already set in her mind that her and her son was gonna die. <laughs> but the Lord sent a prophet that believed in the Almighty God to help her unbelief. Whatever your situation is, I want you to remember the compassionate heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where you are having an issue with believing anything. He comes in and gives an encounter, and I'm gonna give you even the story about Lazarus, when there are so many people doubting even on the fourth day there was like he's dead he's dead the story of Lazarus like even some of you you know we're thinking like oh man your spouses are never coming home my child is never coming home to the Lord but here comes Jesus on the fourth day he waited because his faith in the Lord he already knew that he knew that he was gonna do something miraculous When Lazarus came out of that tomb, the people that were surrounding had an encounter. The unbelieving hearts had an encounter with Jesus. Let's not forget the compassionate heart of God when we're struggling with unbelief that he comes in and gives an encounter. Elizabeth's husband, Joseph, Mary's husband, were met with encounters because they struggled with unbelief. This is going to encourage someone today. Your unbelief that you struggle with God is going to give you an encounter. He's sending his son, Jesus. He's sending an angel to give you an encounter to help your unbelief. Listen to me and receive this word. If you're struggling with unbelief, the compassionate heart of the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, is going to give you an encounter to strengthen your belief in him. And you will testify because God is that good. He is so merciful. He knows how his ch children struggle He knows about that warfare that you've been go going through. Um, I just want to encourage you, child of God. And I want you to receive this word in faith. And may the joy of the Lord flood your soul when you get that encounter because it's going to happen, okay? I just, I, I, you know, I was going on a walk, um, and it just, my sister in Christ, we have these powerful exchanges in the Holy Spirit, like, the alignment is so powerful, and, and the Lord is just, he starts, you know, he's pouring, he's pouring, he's pouring, but the beautiful thing that came out of that conversation was 
the heart of Jesus, the heart of God, the compassion. God doesn't want his children lingering in spiritual death and unbelief. He's going to help it. You are going to be leaping, okay, with joy because the encounter that you are about to have with Jesus. <laughs> I say this with such confidence because God is that good and <laughs> he is like matchless and he is beautiful and all that and then some much more that sometimes I can't even put in to words um, how powerful and loving God is. Some of you may have been struggling and suffering and, and even like entered into something willful, like a willful sin or you're struggling in different areas. And I'm telling you right now, God is so compassionate that he is going to even give you an encounter. And he wants me to tell you that he loves you, child of God. There is an unconditional type of love that God wants you all to experience because sometimes, you know, a lot of you, whoever's listening to this needs to receive this. When you fall or you make a mistake, you really are hard on yourself and you're beating yourself up. So this is an encouragement. What God wants to pour into you right now in the name of Jesus, he wants to uplift you, your heart, your soul. Um, lift that heaviness off of you but I got to encourage your heart he sent me to encourage your heart that he is going to do something in your life <laughs> that is going to shift your thought process that is going to shift your perspective and how you see God this is going to give you an increase <laughs> An increase in your heart, in your spirit, in your spirit, man, to want to share your experience with someone else because God is that good. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. And the beautiful way that God is making laborers is to help their unbelief. <laughs> Paul became a laborer because Jesus gave him an encounter to help his unbelief. <laughs> his name was changed from Saul. I'm sorry, to Paul. So the whole time I was talking about Saul, but I pray that you guys were following me. I pray that you were following me because Saul had the encounter and then became Paul because of the encounter with Jesus and became a laborer for the kingdom. The kingdom of light, the kingdom of love, the kingdom of God. He quickly fled from the kingdom of darkness and doing the work for the, the devil, right? And came and started working for the kingdom of God because of the encounter that he had to help. That helped his unbelief and turned him into a believer that Jesus is real God is real and so much more, so much more, so much more. On the road to Damascus, Paul met mercy. On the road to Damascus where Paul, his heart was set on killing Christians and going after the disciples, he met grace, hallelujah. Hmm. He met grace. He met mercy. His name was changed and God gave him new garments in the name of Jesus. 
Right now, there is a quickening and a shifting in the spirit that is so powerful. And so the Lord, because of his mercy, because of his grace, he's giving his children an encounter. Those that have been unbelieving and doubting his power and his promises over your life. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Okay, okay, okay. I feel the Holy Spirit and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Listen, I pray I pray that this has encouraged you. Um your 